Do you ever wonder what you could do as a white person to help stop racism, yet you cringe at terms like white privilege? You feel like you're stuck taking the blame for a lot of things you didn't do? That is a mental and spiritual trap. Much of the narrative on race in the U.S. has the effect of silencing white people, especially white males, on the issues of race, pushing them to a shell of silence and inaction. That has to stop. Racism is evil and is an issue of spiritual warfare, which cannot be conquered by having a secular mindset such as identity politics. I encourage you to get a copy of my new book, Don't Do Anything Stupid, A White Man's Guide to Racial Harmony. On May the 8th of this year, I got one of those taps on the shoulder during my morning devotions to write this book. I'm an old white guy living in Alabama, so that was a bit of a surprise. In the book, I've tried to point out some of the things that we need to stop doing as white folks, but more importantly, I've offered some intentional steps that each of us can take to make things better. I began the book by asking this question of many of my black friends. The question is, if you could snap your fingers and make it happen, what would you want white men to understand about racism? Many of the answers surprise me, as they will you. To improve our culture about race relations, we need to each to improve as individuals. The way we do that is to increase what we know about the topic and improve who we are. The purpose of this new book is to begin to accomplish both objectives, and I leave the reader with some specific action plans. If we all work together and each make an effort, we can make a huge difference. Let's do that. Hey everybody, I'm Chris McKinney. Hi, I'm Shannon McKinney. And together we own and operate Called Writers Christian Publishing. We're a new Christian publishing company and you know, several years ago, I got the idea and dream to help Christian authors mm -hmm. uh, to get their message out. Basically, I saw a lot of Christian authors who had a calling from God and yeah. you know, maybe a gifting, maybe an anointing, and they just had a, you know, a God-given message uh, that they knew they had to get out, but then they, they needed somebody. They were a hand, and they needed to connect to an arm yeah. you know, uh, in the body to, to get that message out. And so I didn't see a lot of um, ways... Uh, that, that you know existing mm -hmm. avenues for them to do that and so we just we wanted to um, we wanted to change that and so we prayed and said God give us a way to help yeah. those Christian authors to get their message out and so that's what we're working on that's what we're doing and um, God has blessed us in, in several ways to, to be able to do that right um, but what we really need what we would really make our day is just if you would hit the subscribe button if you're watching this on YouTube um, just go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We can we can use that to bring you good Christian content, uh, yeah. you know, things that minister, encourage, help, and inspire. And uh, it will also, you know, just help those uh, authors reach the people that God has called them yeah. to reach. And uh, so, yeah, I think that's that's it. If you just hit the subscribe button, well, it'll be a win-win. Yeah. You'll, you'll benefit, <laughs> we'll benefit the authors, everybody. Right. Huge win-win. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.